Hi there, just come back from walking the Two Moors Way in Devon. Took seven days to do that and I thought I'd just do a shakedown on my kit. What I liked, what I didn't like, what I'm going to swap out. I normally just walk in a merino wool top, a lightweight one, and pair of trousers or I prefer to use these uh, trousers where the legs zip, unzip and then I can turn, turn them into shorts um, and uh, I've been wearing these shoes here which are the Solomon X Ultra 3 GTX's um, had no problems with them they did give me blisters but I think that was due to me f my feet just getting quite warm in them because it was quite hot. Uh, in my shorts I'd uh, got obviously pockets like most pairs of trousers uh, have a little bag of tissues. Um, then I have uh, a buff that I use for my neck uh, when it's sunny or I can turn it into a hat if I need to so that's in that one. Uh, then in the other pockets I've got uh, my phone that's got view ranger on uh, I use that for GPS so that I can just ch quickly check to make sure that I'm in the right place uh, I don't really follow it as, a, as such I for this trip and most trips I use maps uh, this one here was the uh, guidebook that I got and it's got 1 to 25 thou uh, maps in them so that's good enough for me to follow and as I say if I'm unsure if I'm going the right way then I'll just check on my uh, on my view ranger so a uh, pack of choice is the Osprey <coughs> Exos uh, 58 uh, maybe a little bit large but when you're bulking out with food for two or three days it, it just swallows it all up so uh, that's why I've got slightly larger pack on the uh, shoulder strap on this side I've got uh, my camera case, a couple of spare batteries and the microphone all sits in there and I can easily get that without taking my pack off and then obviously on the um, Osprey they've got a pole system where you can put your walking poles uh, on this side so that's alright. The other reason I like the, the, um, the Ospreys is that they have um, pockets in the hip belt uh, that allows you to put trail mix and any sacks and that sort of stuff that you want in into those and then you don't have to take your pack off to uh, grab uh, a snack if, if you want to just to keep you going for a little while uh, then the other thing I use is walking poles these are not only for walking but I also uh, use those for uh, putting my tent up as a tent pole and on on this one here I've got one of these uh, ultra pods a uh, little tripod that I can do remote filming or attach it to a tree or whatever so that, that's those uh, so they're good um, then on the uh, as everybody knows on on the side of the Osprey there the stretchy pockets so on the one side I have uh, the water bottle and my Soya mini water filtration system if I need to get any more water and then especially when I was wild camping on Dartmoor that was quite handy to fill up and I did fill up in some streams and uh, then on the other side uh, I've got uh, two more water bottles so that's um, 180 millilitres uh, almost two litres of water and then with the bladder that takes it up to two litres so I can get a reasonable amount of uh, fluid uh, on the uh, on the back, there's a, a large stretchy pocket that I use uh, to, just to um, have for uh, stuff that I want to grab quickly. So uh, in here, I've got a um, wind cheater, a rad one. Uh, really love this jacket. Probably needs replacing. But uh, he's done some trips with me, so I really like that. Uh, that's really handy um, in the mornings. I just wear that and not this and uh, just just to keep the wind off until I get up to temperature and then uh, when the weather was getting a little bit warmer then I'd uh, take this off, stuff it in here and then uh, put the merino on 
and then just walk in that. So that was good. <coughs> the other thing in here is uh, I've got myself a little foil sit, sit mat, very lightweight. Um, that's, not, that's ideal just to grab in, just sitting down on the, on the wet grass and not have to worry about that. And then, uh, then everybody knows that what these trowels are used for, so we won't go into that. But the other thing uh, in that pocket is uh, my map case, compass obviously, and uh, a guidebook, a full guidebook there, which I used to read the night before and then work out what I was going to see the next day, and obviously things that I'd have to look out for. And also in there, for easy grab, is the bottom parts of the trousers. Uh, the other thing uh, in here is uh, my waterproofs, a uh, lightweight waterproof jacket, um, waterproof leggings and uh, I quite like walking in gaiters if it's uh, wet so uh, there's uh, those in there but in fact uh, those never ever came out of this bag because the weather was so good, uh, Dartmoor was so dry, I've never seen it as dry as it is and um, most of uh, Mid Devon and certainly Exmoor was pretty dry as well. Right, uh, the other thing is on the top we've got a zippy pocket which I um, store lots of little tiny bits and pieces. Uh, there's a nice dry bag for my camera in case it rains I can just quickly uh, take it off the shoulder strap and then put it into there. Uh, there's a rubbish bag and um, this is my uh, bag of toiletries um, with toilet roll and hand sanitizer and some bags in there as well. Um, due to the Covid that was going on I took some of these uh, di disposable gloves and I think there's a couple of pack pairs of those. Um, another buff, uh, this is a merino wool one which is really nice to wear in the evening when it's cold. That one. Um, uh, uh, yeah, hand sanitizer and some uh, antibacterial wipes. So that then the, the things that I would not possibly take. And then also in here I've got a thin pair of gloves. So don't lose those. Uh, not that I ever wore those, but they're always handy to have. Um, the other thing is. Uh, for the pack I've got a uh, over cover, range uh, cover, um, so all my stuff inside is in waterproof bags but um, it's, I think this is just this a bit more protection, uh, it stops the water getting in and weighing your pack down because obviously it soaks into the fabric and then that adds weight so this is quite good for 90 grams I think it is, it was uh, worth taking uh, even though I didn't use it when I was walking but um, it was quite good to lay on the ground and then put my kit on in the morning when the grass was wet. Um, and then there would normally be a bag full of food for uh, dinner time stops and anything else. Uh, then there was another thing that I uh, picked up on, uh, I think it was YouTube, was um, was to get one of these uh, bottle caps and uh, it's a conventional one uh, and I've put some holes in it. And the idea is that you fill your water bottle up, you put this onto your water bottle and then you can use it sort of like a sprinkler almost. Um, I didn't actually use it but it was a good idea. I thought I might have a go with it but I never used it. So that's all that was in that top pocket. Um, on the lid there's also another pocket underneath which I uh, kept the more valuable things in. So I've got a small wallet with uh, obviously my cards and money. Um, that's all right. um, then I've got a pair of um, sunglasses that I can clip onto my glasses. So I take those, so I use those quite often. And um, the other thing is at the end of the day I, I like to take a hydration tablet. I find that they sort of balance your um, body's uh, out a little bit better, a little quicker to recover. So um, this one here is an, enough for seven days. This little tube is cut down one. So um, I took one of those every day. And then also in this top pocket, I've got my uh, cook set. So uh, I've got in here a, um, uh, a spork, um, fold down um, mug, which is very good. It just makes it nice and flat. 
Then there's a small sponge and uh, some washing up liquid in a little bottle. And um, I took uh, two lighters. Uh, I probably could have got away with one, but they're so light, there's uh, no point in not taking it. Then I've also got um, a sharp knife with a um, just a kitchen knife in a um, cardboard sheath. Uh, I've never used this, but it's it's worth having just in case you want. And then uh, also my little uh, BRS stove. Um, that's, that sits in there as well. So that's uh, basically I need to get that out and then the cook set and then I'm ready to go with uh, cooking. Uh, took a sun hat, uh, really glad I took the sun hat. Um, worked quite well. Um, it did blow off a couple of times but it's got a string but I don't like using it that much. But yeah, uh, that, that was uh, very useful. So we're going to the main part of the pack now. So on the top here is um, I've got myself a insulated jacket, a down one. Um, never used it; it was too warm, but it's always uh, handy to have. Uh, so that's um, that's good. Then uh, on the top, I've got a, a bag. It's a 12 litre uh, dry bag, and basically when it's full up. It's uh, got all my food in, um, probably about three kilograms of food. Food and water added up to five kilograms, and my base weight is uh, is uh, ten kilograms. As I say, all in here was all my food, uh, and then uh, I also um, just have a list of all my food that I take and what what I'm expecting to eat on what days. And uh, I also make a note here if I'm going through a village um, or a small town of what I need to buy and quantities like two days of dinner, um, evening meal or whatever. So, so that's good. So as I say, there isn't really much in there. So, but that's, that's normally 12 litres full to the brim. Uh, next on the top is uh, the fly sheet for my tent, which is a uh, seal hex peak. And this is the uh, V4A version, um, which is sleeps one man. It's really great. I enjoy using this. Um, so that's good. Um, and for the poles for that, I've got a extension piece that I've got, which is basically um, bottom section of one of these poles. And uh, I just take that out of here, clip that into here. And then, and then we take this bottom section out of this one here, plug that straight to there, and then uh, we've got my adjustable poles for uh, the centre pole for my uh, hex peak, because it just takes a single pole, so that all works out quite nicely. Um, and I put some end caps on, just so it doesn't go through the bag. Um, this is my electronics bag. Uh, probably the heaviest bag. It's got um, two power packs uh, adding up to, I think it's uh, t t 10 amp ones each, so I've got those. Um, I get those out. So they were quite useful. Uh, a bag of cables, earphones, um, plug in charger, a USB charger for the wall. The mains, uh, not that many campsites had those. Um, then there's the two power packs there. I got myself a cheap um, mountain warehouse um, LED torch. It's uh, really good. Three AAA batteries uh, last for 30 hours, so that's more than enough for a trip. Um, I've got a USB charger for the camera batteries. Uh, I took four camera batches, um, but I only used three, um, so that was fine. And then I've got um, a Nightcore uh, headlamp, 
Uh, I use that only, I only use that once. Um, I'm wondering if it's really worth taking two torches, but it was quite handy. And so, certainly, if I was walking in the dark, then that would be easier than the other torch. Um, and then there's a charging cable for that as well. So that that's all in the uh, electronics bag. And uh, I've also got a small um, Swiss Army knife. It's got um, a small pair of um, scissors. There's a tweezers in there and a toothpick. So, so that's quite good. It's, it's very light. So um, standard uh, first aid kit, trail one. Uh, I've had up with extra stuff in as you always do. Um, plasters, um, the Compli ones, and uh, I also use. Um, a skull, um, it's like a cushion, It's for I think it's actually for bunions. Um, I find that that's quite good because you can cut it to size um, and shape and then attach it to wherever because it's sticky and that works really well. Um, that's what I used to use um, years ago as before they had these uh, special plasters. Um, and I also tried out this time um, uh, it's like a silicon and it goes around your toes uh, and it's for people that have got bunions or uh, corns on the bottom of their feet um, and it's quite strange to walk on because it's a bit rubbery but um, after quite a lot of uh, road walking I found that that was um, quite nice I put it on this foot here which is a slightly smaller foot and it just filled out the boot a bit and um, yeah it was quite nice to walk on it, it meant that your feet weren't quite so pounded so that's a first aid kit. So that's quite close to the top. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, sleeping mat. Um, I've just got a um, standard um, Thermolite Sea to Summit, uh, the ultra light uh, insulated regular one. Because um, they're quite expensive. I didn't really want to buy one for summer and one for. Um, autumn spring so I did get the insulated one um, you do carry obviously a little bit of weight but um, it, it's not really much and uh, obviously saves a few pounds uh, also got in there a seat to summit um, ultralight pillow that I'll all just roll into there it's the regular size one so that, that sort of um, that's quite nice to have a pillow and it doesn't really weigh too much more so there's that um, cook system wise um, I've just got myself a uh, totes titanium pot. Um, normally uh, all my stove and a uh, hundred um, milliliter, is it hundred milliliter, hundred gram um, pot sits in this so it all becomes one complete system. But because I was going away for uh, quite a long time uh, I, I got one of these uh, larger um, 300 one. And, and that's uh, that's still got quite a lot of gas in there, so that'll last a bit more, and that's quite good. Um, just got a wiping up rag there, um, and also um, I've got one of these which goes on the bottom of the canisters. It just um, stabilises the pot um, when you're cooking in boiling water. But really, um, all I really did in there was um, boil water um, for couscous and the dehydrated meals, and then any hot drinks. So that, that all works all right. So, okay. um, and then this bag here is uh, a bag uh, that just holds the inner tent. Um, it's always dry because in the uh, fly sheet bag here I've got um, some very thin plastic that I always lay down on the ground. Uh, it gives it a little bit more protection to the inner tent. And it also means that when you pack up in the morning then you, in the tent's not wet at all, uh, you don't have to worry about drying it out, so that works quite well. And then also in here I've got one of these uh, micro towels, um, very lightweight one, um, that in the morning when the outer tent uh, has got condensation on it, you can just wipe that down and then that just takes that extra weight and uh, moisture off the tent, which uh, reduces the weight of the tent when you, that you're carrying, so that's good. Um, what else have we got down here? So getting, getting, getting down to the bottom, uh, this is my um, spare clothes. So basically I took uh, these pair of trousers um, and another pair of trousers, uh, two extra pairs of socks, 
um, some pants, another one of uh, this uh, thin merino tops, um, and uh, what else? And that, that was all with regard to clothes. And uh, obviously in here, there are all those spare clothes and also my wash kit, which is um, obviously a well, lightweight towel. Um, I've got a, a flannel and then some uh, liquid soap and uh, toothpaste and toothbrush. Normal sort of stuff that you'd carry. Um, and I was uh, trialling out something new uh, as well. Um, this is a half cup tennis ball that um, I put into the bottom of the poles when they go into the ground. If the ground's really soft, uh, they sink in. So if you have half a cup tennis ball, you can put that in and then that just uh, stops it from sinking in. And then I also got one of these lacrosse balls. Uh, basically, I was going to try out uh, massaging my legs and uh, with that, but it didn't seem to have any time in the evening. I don't know if it's because it got dark early. Um, by 8 o'clock, it was dark. Um, but um, I'm quite new to uh, trying out this, so um, watch this space. Uh, it's either going to be something that's useful or it's uh, going to be a waste of time. It was quite heavy to carry. Um, I think it's um, sort of like 200 uh, grams, so um, it could be something that I could got, get rid of. Um, but certainly um, we'll see how it goes. That's all I'm going to say on that one. And uh, then the uh, and the last bit in here is um, my uh, sleeping system. So this is a Sea to Summit Spark uh, SP2. Um, obviously, uh, down down um, sleeping bag. Really warm. Um, I think it goes down to minus two, I think it is. Um, I've also got a silk liner that I use inside of it as well, which will add um, sort of um, maybe five degrees. Uh, I got quite warm in it actually, and then especially with the uh, thermal mat as well. So um, I could have probably gone with a lighter sleeping bag, but um, like all these things, they all cost uh, money if you're gonna buy different sleeping bags for different things. So you just have to put up with it. Um, and then also in here I've got, um, I take some uh, thermal uh, leggings and a thermal top just to sleep in. I do get cold but I didn't need those. Um, but then that allows me to have uh, three three tops if I need to for walking. Um, so that was all. Uh, these are the ends. Uh, I just made myself some end pieces for the pole that goes into here just so it doesn't go into the bag. Um, and then the only other thing in the bag is is uh, I've got some Terra Hike um, tent pegs. They they uh, weigh about I think they're uh, 12 grams each, so they're really nice and light. Um, I took uh, two extra just in case I lost one, uh, and then I'd have another one spare. So I could have lost two, but I didn't. I'm always careful. And counting them in and out of the bag, so they're quite good. And um, because this is uh, rucks, that's got like a bladder thing, I just st stick them in there and then have the uh, string hanging over the top, and then that keeps them out of the way. So I think that's it. Uh, yep, that's it. So um, that's all my kit I took. As I said, a base weight of 10 kilograms, around 22 23 pounds, which uh, I thought was reasonable. Hope that's been uh, useful, informative. What would I swap out? Um, I'm still uh, debating about if I really need to take any um, additional clothing to sleep with, um, especially as my bag is uh, with the liner is quite warm. So I suppose I could lose a top and I could um, lose the leggings as well. Um, I didn't use the waterproofs, but I don't think you can. You just can't uh, not take those. Um, the gloves, I could have um, left those behind, but uh, my hands did get a bit chilly on the Exmoor section because it was quite war quite um, windy, but not cold enough to put them on. It was close, but I didn't actually do. Um, otherwise, I think all my kit is uh, reasonably pared down at the moment. Um, 
Right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I uh, hope it's been useful for you and uh, if you have found this video useful, perhaps you'd like to subscribe, like, uh, hit the bell and then you'll be notified of any new um, videos that come up onto my site and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.